Hello everyone. Today we will learn unit 5 that is Windows Form and Controls. Our topics are Windows Form Controls which contain these four topics. First, Image List, List Box, Date and Time Picker and Month Calendar. I am your instructor Kruti Patel from LG Institutes of Engineering and Technology. Now we will see first Image List. Image List provides a container for image data. The control is not visible directly. It is instead referenced from other controls such as list view which acquired the images from index value into the image list. These are the properties and events of image list control. Uh, image size, color depth, transparent color and events are color sorry control added cursor changed and key press now we will see the practical demonstration of image list control for it i'll open visual studio so here i'll write visual studio so microsoft visual studio 10 is open here i'll open program which is windows control 3 which i have been added priorly here you can see i have dragged i have dragged this image list one from toolbox here you can see image list now uh, image list is not dragged inside form one but it is a functionality so it will be dropped outside form one now from this image list i have added these two images which is in d drive which is in d drive that is named a and b so here these both images should be displayed respectively in this control which is nothing but this control name is you can see it is picture box and this is panel you can see it is panel one so in both container you can put images which is inside image list one now for it i have to write code inside form one load event so i'll double click on for form one you can see i'll zoom in the screen here to add images in image list one i have written this code that is nothing but image list one dot images dot add in round bracket image dot from file and here path is passed so d drive and image name is a dot jpg same way i have been added this image b in image list now both images are respectively called in panel one and picture box one so panel one dot background image equals to image list one dot image of zero that is our first image which have been added priorly which is a dot jpg next is picture box one dot background image equals to image list one dot images which is indexed to one which is inserted at a second position which is our d image now when I will run this form, I found these both images. Here you can see A and B images are displayed. Now I will comment these both images to see next code. If I will comment these both lines for panel 1 and picture box 1, you cannot find any image inside the this, uh, panel 1 and picture box. So in such a way, First, you can insert images in image list and then after from image list or from indexing, you can call that images in particular location where you need it. Next control is list box. Now, the list box control enables you to display a list of items to the user that the user can select by clicking in addition to display and selection functionality the list box also provides the features that enables you to efficiently add items to the list box and to find text within the items of list you can use the add or insert method to add the items to a list box 
the add method adds new item at the end of the unsorted list box here properties and events of list box are displayed you can see location name size back color for color these are properties and control edit cursor change key press key up drag leave these are the events now we will see practical demonstration of list box for it i have opened priorly this uh, windows home application and here i'll show you this design part you can see in design i have added this list box priorly it is nothing but list box one and inside this list box sorry below the list box one i have taken this button one so whatever the list uh, whatever the items from list box which is selected by me it, and when i clicked on this button it should display in message box first of all we will see how to add the items in list box so for it whenever i'll load this form the item should be displayed in this list box so i'll write whole code in form load event i have written this code priorly here you can see list box one dot items dot add these are code list box one dot items dot add sunday monday tuesday is respectively all days name are written in list box so first of all i load this form you can see our output is list box which is loaded with the items which i have been added <clears throat> now whenever i clicked after selecting whenever i clicked on the button it should be displayed in message box as tuesday is selected by me so for it i'll do code which i have written in this uh, text file so it is nothing but uh, button one click event will contain this much code so control c and i'll call this event of button so when i double click on the button its event is called so i'll write here for each loop which contain object type object variable in which refers list box one dot selected items and here message box dot show will return obj dot to string so name or the object name is converted into string and it should display in message box so i'll run this code sunday is selected and when i clicked on button you can say here sunday is displaying your message box i'll zoom in this screen you can see here sunday is here in such a way you can do any of the selected name for example tuesdays tuesday is selected and i clicked on button tuesdays display thursday is selected i click on button and it display thursday in same way so list box is nothing but the control which which is used to display the all items at a same time when it should be loaded so it is called list box control i can also see its all properties here back color border style cursor dock draw mode font size also font color also i can changed so these all properties are should be set all properties are should be set or it is not compulsory to set from property window now next control is date and time picker the date and time picker control allows you to display the collect date and time from the user with a specified format the date and time picker control has two parts a label that display the selected date and a pop up calendar that allows user to select a new date the most important property of the date and time picker is the value property which holds the selected date and time here you can see these are the properties and events of date and time picker properties are allowed drop calendar font cursor font and custom format and events are control added cursor change key press key up and drag leave now we will see how uh, practically demonstrate uh, how date and time will practically demonstrate for it i have opened this visual studio and here 
this date and time picker is dragged from here you can see in toolbox date and time picker is available here so i dragged this date and time and dropped here priorly so here your date and time picker is here and below the control i have taken this button to control now i'll call its control event button to underscore sorry click event button to underscore click i have written this code which is nothing but to display a selected date in message box so for it first of all date time which is nothing but a class or you can say it is also used for data type variable dt is declared now dt will contain date time picker one dot value means what whatever the value which we have selected it will be stored in dt now this dt will be displayed with a message box so message box dot show double quotes i have written date is but i'll write here selected date is so selected date is and i have concated this value so plus is here with our actual selected date value which is nothing but in the variable dt which is a type of date time okay so whenever i'll run this code here you can see in design part this date and time picker and button 2 is available so i'll run this code you can see here from date and time picker i pick its date 11 july and i clicked on button the message box is displayed with a selected date i can also display the selected date uh, in label rather than it should be in message box so for it a code is like this first of all for it we need to take a label which is nothing but label 2 and i have to write here label 2 dot text label 2 dot text equals to this data I run this code label to dot text equals to selected date is colon double quotes complete plus date dot to string means date value is converted into string first and then it will be concreted in select with selected date and the whole value will be stored in label to text so i'll run this code i select this date 1st july and when i clicked on button first of all message box is there so it should be displayed and then after this date is written here if i don't want message box i'll un i'll comment this message box line now i'll see i'll show you this output uh 16 july is selected and I, when i clicked on button the selected date is displayed with time here so it is used to display date with its time your default time is choose from our system your time is 10 14 so this 10 14 time will be automatically taken from default time now a last topic which is month calendar the date sorry month and month calendar date and time picker control allow you to display and collect date and time from user with a specified format but when the when you need month calendar means what if it should be displayed with only the calendar value but if you want to select only month or date from the calendar without time you can use month calendar so but month calendar is selectable calendar weight on the month calendar user can select day or range of the days so differentiate these two controls uh, date and time picker is used to pick the date and time but month cal but the month calendar is used to pick a month or date value from the calendar only it, it is not used for time display 
The user can also scroll through the months and this control provide many useful options. It is ideal for instant calendars. Max date, mean date and the month calendar provides two important properties of the calendar which is called max and mean date. This indicate the maximum and min minimum selectable dates. These dates give you a lot of range of selected date. Min means what? It is also used whenever you need to select a multiple date from the calendar. And here in date and time picker, you can only select a single date. This is also a difference between month calendar and date and time picker. Now, these are the properties of and events of month date and calendar. Here you can, you can see max and minimum date are the maximum. Uh, oh, sorry, these are the important properties. And now we will see practical demonstration of month calendar. For it, I have been added this month calendar. You can see, I will show you the property window. I magnify the screen. Its control name is month calendar 1. And here I have been taken this button 3 and label 1 is also here. Now, I have written this code in button 3. So, label 1.txt equals to month calendar 1 dot selection range dot start dot to string so whatever the selection range is from month calendar it should be display with of starting of the date in and converted into a string and then after it is displaying label one text here it is label one so i have written here label one dot text so i'll show you output here First of all, I have selected this 15 and I'll click on the button. So 15 date is selected. So in such a way, you can do this type of selection and sure it will be displaying labels text. So in such a way, you can also set its multiple selection properties. If you want to select a uh, multiple dates, maximum selection count is also from, set it from here. So it is nothing but your month calendar control. Thank you everyone.